Uh, guys. A lot of Trackmania streamers will do something called Random Map Challenge. Where you play random maps for one hour, you go for as many Aftermaths as possible. Essentially, you have to learn maps fast and play them well right off the get-go. I wanted to host a tournament where I challenge you guys to see who is the best player on random maps. We've made an event, it's in-game right now. You still have 10 minutes to register and qualify. Qualifier starts. And then we're gonna get to see the top 100 battle on random maps and find out who the best player on random maps is. It's gonna be pretty fun. I highly recommend you join, even if you're not, you know, you don't think you're the best player. Cause so, uh, division of 100 players is a lot and it's random maps. Maybe it's an ice map in the qualifier and you're really good on ice. I don't know. Servers are uh, are getting set up though. All right, um, I will just join a server. After, after signing up, you just join a server. You need standard access um, and that's about it. Apparently the qualifier will be on this map, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe it will be a new map. I don't know what Cam is going to say. I'm assuming it's this map though. But yeah, you will just go to, um, you're in the main menu, right? You go to play, you go to events, the bottom right one, events, virtual of the day, and you just qualify and click a server. It's gonna be that map, yeah. So you can get some early practice in on it right now and dominate your competition. I'll practice it, why not? This is the qualifier map. So Cam is the guy who's picked the maps. There's gonna be 10 of them. I hope for some wild stuff. I hope Cam really let loose with this. Cause uh, <laughs> Cam knows what we're gonna be competing on. Like, they were random, but, you know, you don't want to have, I guess, a khaki. Like, okay, actually, you can have khaki map, but just not too many too long maps. You want quick rounds. I wouldn't mind if there's a khaki map. Wait, 6,000 people have played this. Okay, that's actually insane. Oh, yeah, this is one of those old classic uh, lol maps, this though. This guy, Sigma, is... Dude. It makes sense. Archie, thank you for five months. Welcome back to the vibe. Oh, more than 20,000? Then I'm wrong. I think that's full speed. There's no way you're qualifying with these times. Well, this is the world leaderboard, right? The qualifier would be like here. You would be, you know. But, but, and here's the thing. If you still want to play, but you're not top 100, there's going to be more divisions, because Trackmania lets you do that. So you guys can play against players or division, but there's only a prize pool for the top one. You will have infinite bragging rights, though, by winning in, in a lower division, too. You got Nadeo on the line? Let's go. <laughs> I didn't even, like, they developed this tournament feature a while ago. But no one's really, like, put it to good use, I think. Until now. We did a birthday tournament, we're doing this. We're just trying, seeing what we can do with it. Wonder what the line is here. That's a improvement. Though slight. Just doing what we're doing, uh, in five minutes, or two minutes, we're starting a random map tournament. First players have 10 minutes to qualify for Division 1 on this map. And then we're letting those players battle it out. There's like three people in the game who knows how to use it, yeah. The rooms are all full? Wait, really? So this is a problem though, uh, if the devs are here. 
there needs to be a way to generate more servers, even if the registration thing doesn't happen as much. Because the way it works is that it will generate an amount of rooms based on the amount of people that register. It's so like if 500 people register, it will think, okay, five rooms. Um, and the problem is that you can't add more if more people want to join later. But apparently Nadeo has a magic button, so maybe they can press it for us, people shy. If they can, that'll be very cool. Oh, there's new servers. Okay, you can join, you can join, you can join. Great. So I can show you. If you want to play, there's still time to join. You just go to, uh, well, play, live, events, virtual of the day. You hit qualify, and now you can choose between any of these. I guess I'll have to go to server five. Can I get a thanks, Braxton chat? I will give a standing while sitting. Sitting ovation to uh, Mr. Drax. Drake's in chat. No, Brax. Thank you, Brax. We appreciate it. The show goes on thanks to Mr. Brax. So the qualifier has started. You will see the ranks top left. So I will have to qualify myself to spectate Division 1. So I'm going to take a spot among the top. Ooh. Gotta maybe get... Wait, Flat Earth's in first place? That's what we like to see. That's what we like to see. Tell him. <laughs> Competition is only top 99? Well, yeah. But, um, there's also more divisions, of course. Ooh. Nope. Oh. Okay. There, you can get a lot of speed there. Yeah, I'm getting chills, guys. Chills. Let me get a good time, and then I can spectate people. I have the luxury of spectating so early on my own map. Whereas on this, on a mini like this, getting top 100 can be pretty tough, I'm imagining. Gotta get, like, low 20. Maybe a no slide there. And then a bit of a straighter line here. This guy's Sigma is... Dude. C mind scrambler gifted a tier 1 sub to Braxilia. This is their first gift sub in the chat. I lost so much speed, I might not even PB. Woo! Yeah, felt it. Happy 15 month anniversary. Opacity, thank you for the 15 months. Thank you so much for the long time support, man. And uh, Mind Scrambler, thank you as well. Registrations are extended. Okay, you can join now. <laughs> Checkmate globe heads. It's one of the wildest thumbnails we've ever made on the channel. Donu, the guy who does the thumbnails on virtual TV, just messaged me and said, Can I just run this? And it's the... And it's the Checkmate Globeheads thumb. And I was just like, yeah, I don't know, dude. If you feel it, you feel it. Send it. <laughs> Did I finish the last map I had open in khaki? No. I ended the event on 74. Only Tacky in that one month got that map. No one else got it. People were close, but no one else got it. So I can't feel too upset. It was just ridiculously difficult and Tacky had an um, insane run there. I'm quite satisfied. Hey Virtual, did you hear the news? The Flat Earth Society has members all around the globe, Keck. <laughs> Did I saw that creator of Minecraft got his recommended? I know he he watches my videos. I think he's talked about them on his Twitter before. I, I feel like I remember seeing him tweet about it. Could be wrong, but... I need to check uh, World Record here, just to see if I'm missing anything. 
Because I feel like I'm driving wrong lines. Plexi! I'm ahead, okay. Wow, very low airtime. That's a great tax right there. Whew, okay, that's a clean run. He crashed the finish, that's how fast he was. Notch kind of monk ass, yeah, I know the story. Um, I have heard the story. Cheating in my own event? What? Watching the world are just cheating? Fine, I'll just drive the world record then so you guys can watch it. I'll just drive it. Alright? Set a new world record. Oh, he was so wide there. It's a small improvement, it's a 20 at least. 2095. I think I'll go for like one more improvement and then I think that's gonna stay top 100. I'm pretty sure we're getting to the point where like it's gonna stay top 100. Oh, standard access can't do that. That's true. Honestly, that's just the game being slightly paid to win in this exact format. What can you do? And we're gonna stop there, I think. What well, spectate? Who do we have? Who are we gonna watch? Giga Chad TMs on the server? My man! <laughs> okay! Okay, let's see the lines. Bit of a lot of airtime there, doesn't care. He has other things to worry about. Does not even worry about, just other things to care about. He doesn't care about airtime. Airtime is the least of his problems. Okay, clean lines. Needs the speed here though. Oh, he gets it, Giga Chad. Whoo! Even beats me, but how can I compete with this man? And a man of the stature, no less. That was clean. <laughs> Imagine naming yourself Giga Chad TM TM. Oh, like. Like, you trademark this guy's name. What's the tournament? Doesn't look like a couple of days. Yeah, so just to explain it. People are qualifying right now. Top 100 will be Division 1. And what the tournament is, is going to be random maps. 10 randomly chosen maps from Trekman Exchange. First to reach 200 points, and when one round after that, wins the tournament. So, and they play five rounds per map. So you can imagine that, let's say you're an ice player, and you're really good on ice. And there happens to be an ice map for like five rounds that you gotta figure out. And then after that, there's a dirt map. You're not very good at it, someone else is good at it. Then there's like a khaki map. There could be a lol map, there could be, I, do, I don't know, it could be random. Two minute endurance full speed. There's so many things that it could be. It clears as top 1000. Well, there's more servers, but top 100 is the server we will follow and delegate a prize pool to. Khaki 190? Yeah, sure. Khaki could be problematic. Khaki is an opportunity, not a problem. If there is a Khaki map, I'll be very happy. I'd actually be very happy about that. How's the album doing? Uh, Rasta, it's uh, in the works. We decided on a track list, um, and it's being mixed, I think, as we speak. But yeah, we expected a Giga Chat for a while. Can anyone else here get it? Maybe 
Um, Joey. In the last minute here. Has blue splits. Ooh, a bit wide. Gonna have to go for his last ones now. Guess who made it on the album? Not Buckley. Yeah, not Buckley. I'm sorry, guys. I know you really wanted it, but I did it for everyone else. I spared them from Buckley. Ooh, Joey not getting the improvement. I hope that's enough, though. Anyone else close? 10 seconds left. This is when you can get the last second improvement. Kinshasi looks like he got it. All right, qualifier's over. Let's see who made it and who didn't. We will now have the results here. Tessai did not make the top 100, apparently. Uh, maybe that's wrong, though. I don't know. I thought we could see the, the qualifier results, but maybe not. I think I think we, we could, but... I'm gonna join first server. 69th was a 20.8. Ooh, okay. Nah, it should be Division... Yeah, this should be Division 1 chat. I recognize the players. We'll just see them on here. And as soon as they join, it's basically gonna start. And this is... probably the map? There's 10 random maps. You gather points, reach 200, and then close it out. This looks pretty clean. Is that a shortcut in the ending, though? Can you, like, do some stuff here? Maybe? Like, because if you're, if you're good at learning these things fast and you can see the opportunities and everything, maybe you can uh, find something. 15 random maps? All right, great, great, great stuff. Okay, I'm curious. I'm very curious. You can also check the scoreboard to see who we have. Intox, Cup of the Day winner. Tacky is here. Khaki winner. Sweden represented. Lots of Swedes looking for revenge. <laughs> Punch in the air. <laughs> uh, who else? Some Finnish people I see. Danes. There's going to be a hundred people this division. Schmaniel. Very good at at these types of competitions. Flat Earth made it to Division 1. We have him. With us. <laughs> Let's go. Flat Earth in Division 1. Wait, did my game crash? No, we're fine. Flat Earth and Giga Chat in Div 1. Very nice. Very, very nice. People are trying some interesting lines here in the end. On this map. But apart from that, I don't think there's much here. Although there's a big gap from checkpoint 1 to 2. Is there going to be some way to skip up there, maybe? Maybe? Doesn't look like it. Honestly, does not look like it. Let's spectate... Moose. I like the name. You thought it looked like I was wearing a Starbucks apron before? <laughs> I can see that. I, pl I appreciate you took the time to make that, honestly. Yeah, this, this, right? Dude, this is drip, Triss. It's like, it's like my drip. It's my drippiest shirt that I have. Goddamn. What do I look like? A fast food worker. Not that there's anything wrong with that. It's just... It's, it's not the approach I was going for. Oh, Brittany's here. Oh, wait, I can't switch to spectator? Hmm, guess I'll have to play. <laughs> I thought I could, but I guess I have to wait till it starts. Wait, this map is more awkward than I realized. What is the start? We're playing Garde Transitionnel. 
Oh oui. Je suis un garde. Un garde. Can you join us back through the camera? Through the what? Oh, you mean when I joined the server? I'm scared of leaving it. I'm scared of leaving. I was spectator before. What went wrong? You think people are spectators already? I might just have to retire and then I'll be spectator. I should be whitelisted. I trust you, Cam. There's no camera for Division 1. <laughs> I'm just a player. This guy's sick. But okay, it's starting. Dude. It's starting. Is this the wrong? No, we're right. All right, 13 seconds. <laughs> Good luck to everyone who's playing. Uh, this timer, so the, the, it keeps counting down from 13. Apparently, we're starting now. Happy belated birthday, thank you. Garde transitional by Cheesy is the map. Another warm up? Oh, yeah, this is like the first warm up round. I get it, I get it. Okay. So we are on. So after this, they're gonna play five rounds of the map, gathering points. You get 20, I think it is, 25 per win. Goes to reach 200 points overall. If they don't reach on this map, it skips to the next one. Yonex looks very clean. We have to spectate the one guy getting the best run out of everyone here in the warm up. Quite convincingly, too, on the splits. Okay, is Yannis gonna get it now in the live round? Here we go. Good field of players, some people starting late. On board with Yannis, into the quarter pipe jump. Sets up wide to get a low air time across. And that's beautifully done. See, now goes into the Garde. Up the hill, still in first place. 0.2 out of Lars and Wissy. Looks like someone has more speed though, they're catching up, you can hear the engines. Needs to no-slide this all the way through. Oh, maybe an awkward gear. Wins the round by just 3 hundredths of a second. Ahead of Wissy, Lars, Crosshairs, Kubel, Chris, Intox, Schmaniel, Kuzi. Bending unit. Bending unit. I thought it said gun it. Tacky Marius, Psycho Monty. Alright, cool. And you can see everyone who goes like at a certain point just gets one point. So if you're not among the fastest, you don't get a lot of points. So that's why it's important to win rounds. You really have to go for the wins. On board with Wizzy. Low air time. Oh, this time ahead of Yonex here and he had a good end. How does he do it? How does he catch up? He shouldn't be able to win this, but he's ever so slightly faster. Can you tell? Can you see it? Oh, the gear up! Oh my god, what a snipe! So, Yonex cancels the no slide. Wissy just lets it, it, like, holds the no slide all the way. Really, really sick. And then he gets a faster gear up, and then no slides again. That was pretty. Wissy takes a win. That's really good for points here. And we already see, like, three players running away really quickly with points. But it can flip. You need, like... You know, there's maps where these players will excel, and then there's maps where others might excel. We'll see. Why does the cars look floaty? It's uh, the server struggling to compute, I think, 100 cars at once. <laughs> so therefore, they're a bit smoothened out, the movements. But it's doing its best. The server is doing a great job. Again, Yonix versus Wissy on this one, though. Tacky even in the mix. 
But I think we're gonna see that gear change from Wissy come in clutch. Unless Giannis can match it. Oh, again? Again? Oh, it's a hundredth in favor of Yonix. That is sick. Lars also gets a good one. Tacky losing a few spots in the ending. Damn, these two are uh, really running away on the first map. See some other players pick up some good points though? Mari is picking up some good points. I think we're gonna spectate Tacky this next round. Round four on map one. Oh, do you guys see that? Tacky skins has 75 on it. This could be from another Tacky, but he's using a a skin that signifies him finishing all the maps. I don't know. It's not the current design. It's actually the first Tacky, I think it is. That looks clean though. Wissy and Yonix again. Two maps and we're done. It could be. I don't know if they're gonna be good on the next one too. Attack you on an inside line? Okay. I like the thought process, but it's not gonna really work out. Wissy with another win. That's astonishing uh, time as well. 39.09. It's a really good time. The tracks are chosen like RMC runs. Yeah. It's just a pool of 15 maps. So now they're tied up. They both won two rounds each and gotten second twice each. Dude, they're all they're they're gonna be at a hundred points after map one. What is this insane domination? I guess the problem is when you figure out a map really quickly. When you figure out a map really quickly in this format, you can just snowball so many points in a row. I think yeah, fewer rounds per map would be good for a future edition. But we'll see. If it's like an ice map next, I don't know how Wissy and Yonex do on that, for example. Or a lull map, khaki map. There's a lot of things that can flip. Last turn here, Shmoney won the mix as well. But this time Yonex takes the win, I think. Ahead of Shmoney, Wizzy, Marius. That's gonna be Yonex in the lead after first map. One round for map no warm up, that would be ideal. No warm-up is more fun, too. But when they have to discover it. Actually, when they have to discover it, it would be even better. But then you have things like loading issues and whatnot. Okay. So, after one map, Yomex and Wizzy are utterly dominating the competition. At 119 points. <laughs> we'll see if anything changes on map 2 as it looks like it has ice. And boosters? Huh. Okay. This certainly looks interesting. Ice downhill into some boosters. Checkpoint. Downhill turn. With some sausage blocks to the finish. However, no checkpoint. Oh, there's a checkpoint there. Okay. Well. Who's gonna figure out this the best? Let's check Shimaniel here in the start. Might want to turn off name tags to see it a bit better. This is the warm-up. They only get 30 seconds. You definitely want to catch the booster and then what? See, now there's a new player up front. Reax in first. Although, although he missed, but that was warm-up. I get it. Wait, Cam, you switched it to two rounds per map? Okay, that's gonna be very exciting if you did. Guys, we're working this out on the fly, all right? All right? I think it's gonna be more fun that way. Cam, if you figure it out, that's gonna be cool. It says two rounds per map. So two rounds per map. Okay, who is gonna get the best start here onto the boost turnaround? Looks like Yonix again, what do you mean? It's a brand new map, you can't just win everything. But Yonix does win this one too. Lars in second, Beasel in third, Reacts, and then Yavakosa. Some new names. Damn, Yonex just smashing this. It's gonna be the easiest prize pool of his life.
Originally, I wanted to do 200, 150 for first, second, third. But then I thought the number 333 sounds cooler. So I don't know the best way to distribute that, but 333 sounds better than 350. So we need to distribute it. Lars with good speed there, but Shmoney went first. Okay. Okay, good speed. Shmoney all clipping. Lars with the snipe. Easy. Overtake. He's going to get 25 there. Very important for him. 330 and 3. I actually kind of like that. <laughs> $300 for first place. $30 for second. And $3 for third. What great distribution that is. <laughs> That's so dumb. Two hundred, one hundred thirty-three. I think that's the best, actually. <gasps> New map, though. Now it's ice. It's clearly ice, not like snow. It's called. Is this just full ice? Guess we'll find out. Good luck to the players. I will spectate a brand new player, Disco Barn. That's a great name. I have been to barn parties in Norway before, and they are good fun. It's the most Kona thing. Disco Barn here missed a checkpoint. I just realized it can also mean, because child in Norwegian is barn, it can also mean Disco Child. So it's either Disco Child or Disco Barn, like the, um, the building. All right, let's spectate a uh, Dizzy Dwarf in the start here. Wait, I lost him. There he is. Guy's got Pog on his car. The lines he's driving are pretty Pog champ as well. Although he is losing to the cloud of players. And if I had to guess, Kusi would be in first. Kusi's an ice player. Yeah. Oh, disgusting car skin. Uh, that's a lot of anime in one vehicle, sir. But he will make it through the turns. Yonix is there as well to try to go for another 25 points. Oh, Kuzi missing the slide. Jack and Kinshasi overtakes into the last ice slide. Whew, what a round. Kinshasi by 100th takes it. You thought I liked anime? No, only the soundtracks. Only the soundtracks. You see, I'm not a weeb. I can get behind the soundtracks because they're pretty good, but... Like, I'm really not a weeb. No, it's not. The anime to vehicle ratio is too big. Yeah, what even is he driving? That's that's wild. Alright, let's follow the winner. Kinsessi got a lot of good points there. Driving with like a bit of a, a tiger, tiger pattern maybe, on his car. So we see some players missing the line. Looks like this time Wissy is up there. Ender as well. Ooh, Nalax with a great line. We're gonna have to check Yonex. He is in the lead once again. This guy is so good at quickly learning maps with Wissy, putting him to the test and a challenge for the win. Yonex takes it there though. And with those 25 points, he's now only six points away from reaching the threshold. 200 points, could take the win. Yonex is so quick at this. A man stressing me like that? I'm sorry, all right? I just wanted to root you on, Kinsashi. Yonex is a cracked gamer. But, maybe there will be a map that can thwart him. A map where the others get a chance to catch up? It's not impossible. Best of three tournament? If you guys like this, we'll do another right after. If you guys like this, we'll do one more. With some improved changes. If this is fun. We can do two on the day. Alright? They keep talking about the first pancake and whatnot. I think the second pancake is going to be even better. 
I gotta spectate him. I saw him on the list, I gotta. Sorry, like... What a beautiful man. What a beautiful man this is. And then the turns. <laughs> yeah, fair. Is that plastic? Oh, this is an interesting map. <gasps> it's so short. I thought it would be way longer. People are going to finish fast here. This is going to be very close. 100 people, 17 second map, first run in. This Anyone can win this. Giga Chad with a Giga Chad setup. Good speed, actually, for Giga Chad. Look at him go. It's still Yonex in first. I cannot believe this. How does Yonex win in a 100 player battle on such a short track? Probably built by Yonex. Not quite. Wait, isn't the mapper on the server? I could swear. Is he here? No, I saw Ike Wolf. Never mind. I thought I saw Yuka Wolf. You just love fast learning. You're so quick, man. Good luck. Finalist attempt for Yonex. Finalist attempt for Yonex here. He could win the tournament right here, right now. Ooh, good drift. Good setup. Good speed. The uphill line. It looks like no one can stop Yonex. He takes the win in the first tournament. And as we agree on the price distribution, that is $200 his way. Yonex cracked. GG's. GG's. Domination, I would say. In this, in this first tournament. We're still playing for seconds and thirds. And then we will go again for tournament number two. The quickest tournament? Yeah, why Why wait, honestly? Why wait? Why not just do it quickly? Tournament improvement idea to make it more exciting? Just ban Yelmex. <laughs> oh, we have some wicked emojis on this map. Poggers as well. It's made by Hulby, who's one of my longest uh, running subs. That I once had to ban. And then I unbanned him. It might be in chat, I don't know. He plays some cool emojis for us to enjoy. Sunglasses, wicked. Very cool. Very nice of him to do. Let's check the warm up, see who learns the best. <gasps> People are shortcutting. They just went backwards in the start. Oh, Mapper is in chat, okay. Now what do you do? Because, okay, this is interesting, right? There's checkpoints all over the place. There's one over here. Do you take it now? Do you take it later? Maybe you could cut here again? Maybe you could jump to here and cut again? This looks like a very shortcut-heavy map. Some people are not going to for the shortcut. It seems like they have no idea. They're, they're straight clueless. All right, free camera to start. Let's see who goes for it. That's actually quite beautiful to watch. And out of the start, it looks like Rehax has it the best. People are missing this jump across, though. Shmanuel had it pretty good. But there's Tacky and I think still Rehax up in first there. Do they get the jump across? Tacky with the speed. Who not quite the snipe. Good points for both. Very nice. Shmanuel finishing there. Now people are going for the far route. Oh, yeah, that's an unexpected jump. Unexpected jump across. All right. Second round. Can they figure it out? What is this map? It's random. This map is called Yep. So you see, some people are not doing the shortcut in the start here, which should be faster if you get it good. Yeah, they're losing a lot. Then they have to go for the try hard jump. Oh, and not getting the shortcut here as well. Tacky in a clear first. This type of map is his forte, and he gets another 25 points. As Lars will hit finalist. Lars, the second finalist in this match. And now we go for 
The third map, did Wissy leave? No, he's playing. He just didn't. He had good points on this. And, and it makes sense, and I like that. Like, you know, this is a map that doesn't suit him that well. Why am I not playing? I don't know if it would be fair if I play. Should I play the next one? Do you guys reckon I could win my own random map tournament? Again, I don't know the maps. These are these are picked by Chem. I actually don't know the maps. Pem, Chem can confirm. If I win, it's rigged. I mean, I can try. <gasps> I've had this map. No, wait, not this one. I've had the, the green one. This is our Royale map. And the thing about magnets is acceleration is so low. I just said I don't know the maps, but I know the, the Royale map this is from. Uh, the thing about magnets, acceleration is so low that cars are not going to be able to gain meaningful time differences. It's going to be very close. If I remember right, it was just press forward and then... Oh, oh it's the backwards one. Well, I think Lars knows this. I actually think Lars knows this. <laughs> Wait a second. Is anyone even going to finish? This is like the first really difficult map we have. Lars looks like the guy who got the furthest in the warm-up. Okay. Well, here we go. People are gonna drive. Yeet! Then go up the walls. And now, who do we have? Flat Earth going to the moon to enjoy the flat earth from above. Tacky with a really good line. Marius though with more speed. Shmoniel. They both missed. It's Hova TM the first to finish. Everyone missed the finish. Because of the magnet. The properties of the magnet. Lars finished second. Only one person sniped him away from the win. Two finishers. Three hundred players. Three people <laughs> completed it. <laughs> yeah, this is a hard map. All right. Okay, I think Lars has a good chance here, though. Let's see round two. Okay, he releases. He whoa! No, 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 no! He wanted the speed. Tacky might have it. Tacky. Tacky with the win in that round. Good stuff for him. Good stuff for Giga Chat as well. Good points. Shmani will pick it up 22. They're climbing. Literally three points if you know how to learn this one. Okay, goes next map. More maps. Report from Division 5. This is hell. Please save us. Wait. D so, Division 5 needs one finisher to even get past the map. How are they going to get out? Even in the Division 1, only one person can finish the first round. Legit, how are they going to... It's, it's a stalemate. <laughs> they can't get out. Oh no. They're actually stuck. Okay, we believe in you, Division 5. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> that is... That is unfortunate. Can I spectate a player from the Czech Republic? Sure thing. You guys have Murray doing pretty well. All you need is a couple of maps in a row where... Oh, where you can do well. Looks like he's one of the only Czech players in here. Uh, oh no, if you get that ring there, you get kind of stuck. This is going to be a hard map in Division 5 too. It's going to be a very hard map. Now, several paths you can take, people going here. Guess that's correct. Yeah, I think that is correct. Alright, first round on this map. Uh, someone hit finalist, right? It was Lars. We should check out Lars. Uh, 
and they're beating him right now. The only person denying Lars closing out his final attempt. Currently in first, Lars. Before the end, is he going to get a good landing? Good line to the finish. Lars takes second place here. That's a hundred bucks right there. Quick, easy money. These maps are horrible. That's kind of the point. Okay, we have one more prized spot in this tournament for third place. Ooh, a bit of a mistake there. Tacky, maybe. Got to spec it next. Looked like Ender had a good start, though, but he misses that drift. Now it's Shmaniel in first. Just ahead of Marius. Ooh, Marius with an opportunity to snipe that away. Ooh, and he will, it looks like. Good 25 points for Marius. Now, the state that these games can end up in, which is the most exciting part, if it happens, is that several people reach final status at once. When you get to 200, you have to win one more round to secure your spot, right? If multiple people get there at the same time, that's when it's really exciting. And you can see right now, at least on the top here, Shmaniel, Teki, Wissi, Marius, very close. Really fun. Lars, we might do a second edition right after this. I think we're gonna do two in a row because this first one was very quick. But I like the format myself. I think it's like quick, easy, fun. You get something new every time. So, uh, so yeah. And it, 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 it like, cause you know when you play RMC, you can have like good runs and then they die halfway through. This is, I mean, a bit different cause you can just do a couple of runs and then go next map. Did you guys know? I actually used to do something very similar almost five years ago. Five years ago, check DMs. I did bread cup. Which was similar. <laughs> okay, Kevin, there's an exception. Uh, I don't think we're gonna do that map. But I think I think when we do the redo, we do no warm up, no warm up, two rounds per map. Yeah, like like a, like you know, but I mean like a five second warm up. What Kem sent me was a map that combines every single obstacle part of Trekmania Grand League maps. So like, the competitive circuit, about 50 Trekmania Grand League identities in a row, which is like a 20 minute map of obstacles. People missing the first jump here, but it looks like Shmaniel, one of the candidates, has made it through. Had Andersen up, up in first, but really high up with the line, gonna get a lot of speed. Is that gonna go to the finish? Oh, jumps off the map, didn't know the path. Reacts in first now, ahead of Burhack. And Reacts gonna take that win. Shmaniel does get to finalist. Does his competitors get there? Taki doesn't get there. Wissy doesn't get there either. Shmaniel with an attempt at finalist. That exists? Yeah. It's really tough. That map. Okay, Shmaniel in third. Is he gonna get the... Uh, well, he's not third yet, but... If he wins one round, he will get third. He has probably one round to do this before everyone else catches up. And this jump in the middle here posed some problems for people. This one right here. Oh! Getting past the sign, he gets there. Good speed as well, but Britney Spears is in first, just like in 2007, topping the charts. But then it looks like Britney is gonna fall off. 2009 is gonna come hitting like a truck, and Shmaniel with a chance here, the boosters! Two hundredths. Damn, not quite there. And he's gonna have to go again. Now against Marius as finalist as well. Prize pool for second edition? Yeah, I think we we'll just do the same. The, the support lately has been absolutely crazy. I want to put it into uh, doing more events and stuff. So we're doing another one. Same prize pool. Mm. 
Guys, Britney Spears that you see in game there is um it's actually the artist um called Kubi. If you guys know Kubi on YouTube. They make really good chip tune songs. This is one of them. Next map, Mimi Full Speed. This is where things can change. Because on full speed, different players excel. We might have some full speed specialists in here. Looks like Lori Mata won the warm up. <laughs> different people accelerate? I think they all accelerate. Different players prosper, perhaps. Double finalists, though. I think we'll spectate Marius for this. Oh, goes very low there. Tries to catch a speed slide. Gets it a little bit, I think. But it's gonna be hard. Oh, Shmanio was up there. Shmanio, maybe with the win. So close. Oh! Yeah, oh, he's one place away again. Beast on is the one holding the fort, giving Marius Techie Wissy another chance. All the time of this is crazy. Wait, not dashboard. There's so many things open. 1754. At day drove 17.8. Okay. Another round. Another opportunity. You gotta get the speed slide on the platform here. Looks like Shmanuel has it. Low line there. Marius though with way better speed. Marius in first right now. Brandon right there to challenge him, but Marius could secure the win here. He too will be one placement away as Brandon denies him this time. This is what's interesting about this format. It's so hard to win. You have to beat 90 players on a random map in two rounds. And now Wissy is finalist as well. Triple finalist. And we go next map. Okay. Unless you're Yonix, yeah. Yonix. Unless that's that's an exception. This next map is called Cool et Potable. Oh, it's a one minute map. Warm-ups are 30 seconds. This is going to be very interesting. What was the prize pool? 200, 133. Lars, so you won 100. Same for you, Yannick. Just DM me uh, your PayPal. For the prize. I will do it after stream. Easy money. Okay, you get 30 seconds to learn this. Good luck. No one knows the path here, and I guess there's multiple. It seems like a very open map. Because already in the start, you had two paths. Some people are going for these checkpoints. And then there's... I'm just looking at it right now. No, I think I would definitely go the other way. I think I would... Ah! Uh... Yeah, I think I would definitely go this way. I think this feels more natural. I could be wrong. Let's check what players are doing. Shmano is going here. Marius is going here. And Wizzy, all going here. Okay. The three finalists are on the same path. And Marius in first, though. Uh, out of the three, not in first overall. Very left. Looks like Marius is the guy to follow here. Three people between him and securing the third place. Okay. Oh, a bit of a tricky jump and a bad respawn there. As we see Probiscus now in clear first. I don't even know if I have a hotkey for him to spectate. Uh, looks like Wissy is the guy to spectate now, though. As he got a good respawn there. He's in third. 
Only Yolux and Probisk is- Oh, the sign is there, though. The sign is there. Yolux and Probisk is- Yolux is there. Is Yolux in first? No, Probisk is still in first. As long as there's no one on the other path winning here. That's the question. Could someone go the opposite way and win? Could someone- Oh, <gasps> Yolux misses. Gets overtaken by Tacky. Tacky winning the round. Tacky's not finalist yet, but he is now for sure. And Marius was one spot away. And Marius was one spot away. Again. Second time in a row. Exciting. Free camera? I think everyone's going the same route. Because the problem is, if you go opposite, you, um, right here, with the freewheel and dirt and stuff, you will face issues. You will face big problem right here. That's why I think everyone is doing it this way. Okay. Techie now, his first finals attempt. Good speed. Speed will let you pass this anti-booster with much more ease and maybe even set you up for the shortcut. I wonder, is anyone gonna dare to go for this now? There was like a potential thing you could do where you could jump and bug slide to the left here. Definitely bug sliding, but a bit more of a conservative approach from Marius. Giga Chad TM, look at the speed. Giga Chad's gonna go up in first. Giga Chad has the lead right now. Holy. Snaxy. Just ahead of him. What's the difference going to be? Wait, Grixum has a good check, but I don't think that's going to pay off. Snacks with a low line. Giga Chad setting up wide. Trying to get the speed now for the platform as we see Psycho going for the win as well. Last turn. Snacks hits the wall. Ooh, three hundredths. Snacks, he wins the round though. But good points for both. Ooh, nearly the snipe. That was close. That's close. <laughs> Very close. So we still have our four finalists. Could it ever get to five finalists? Like, if enough tricky maps appear, then sure. But this next map, guys, is actually built by Yonex. And this is the type of thing that if you play enough random map challenge, you might even know it. I might have a time on this. Yeah, I do. I know this map. I've had it in RMC uh, before. If you play enough random map challenge, you might come across something you already know. I would guess a player like... Like Marius might know it as well. You can quickly tell if someone knows this one. <laughs> Read for Yonex, box him. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. There's this really tricky part where you gotta go... Uh, around this turn very sharp to the right and then dodge some obstacles and go on to another thing yeah this one dodge that you gotta land clean on this i think i jumped all the way to the left immediately and not onto the curved object but that would be my guess is to just go directly left to the platform all right let's see if anyone can beat my prestigious 1943 on this map here we go. Good speed. Yolux in first. Low air time for Marius. Oh, dodges the thing. Okay, into the ring now. Jumping across. Yolux in the lead. Tacky with the snipe. Oh, did you see that? Wait, did you see that? Tacky went for the finish here. On the left side of the frame and he got it. Tacky takes third. That was actually a ridiculous snipe. My god. GG's to Techie. Okay. Okay. That was the first random map tournament. I liked it. Obviously, we need to nerf Yonex, nerf Lars. And then uh, I think we have a really good format on our hands. We'll do this more often. Nice.